All right, this is a little solar setup I've been playing with. These are Kyocera 120 watt panels. I've got this one hooked up right now with this uh, voltmeter, getting 16, uh, 16 volts. Let's see what the amperage is on this guy. 16 volts and three and a half amps. <clears throat> this one was having problems. It was only getting like uh, nine volts. And uh, the problem was, I got these off of Craigslist. I got 10 of them for 50 bucks. Like I said, they're 120 watt panels. The guy said they were warranted out. Eight of them are having problems and they all have the same problem. There's a certain spot along the top of the panel where the connection is missing. So there's a bubble on the back there. And if you push on that bubble, you can make the connection. What I did is I tried to solder from the back. That didn't work. I tried using a, a heat gun to kind of heat it up and that didn't work. <clears throat> so I held it with the tip of the solder gun. From the back of the panel, I held the tip of the solder gun and then I just kind of uh, used this butane torch and melted it together. That seemed to work. This isn't plugged in. Um, once I got the connection and I verified I was getting 18 and a half volts, then uh, I used this uh, kilowatt, thousand watt grid tie inverter. So I've got the positive and negative hooked up, positive and negative there. It's got a few fuses and the fans on each side temperature switch if this thing gets too hot those fans come on and cool it down it's got 18 to 21 volts <clears throat> the VOC is 20 to 24 and uh, outputs to 110 <clears throat> so we can see we're on right now we're running it's got a little green light this came with a combo adapter it's got a European style plug on it and an American style plug it's also a surge protector and I plugged that in to our little kilowatt here and it shows we're getting 62 watts from that panel it's a 120 watt panel uh, our sun isn't perfect you can see right now the sun is actually above us uh, actually behind us um, but we're at 120 volts 0.79 amps 60 watts this was at early 85 watts earlier uh, let's see what else we got 60 Hertz so it's clean um, I know this is working because I have an existing solar system inside or on the house and a TED 5000 meter. We'll go ahead and look at the difference. Like I said, we're getting about 60 watts now. Move stars. We'll look at our TED 5000 and uh, see what we're putting out right now. I have three MTUs hooked up to this thing. One's the grid tie, one's the solar, and one's the AC. So right now, we're putting out 10, 18 watts back into the grid. And if I turn this guy off, <clears throat> let me see if this works. The battery thing on this thing is almost dead and the connection doesn't reach out to the back, but we'll see what we can do. Connection status there, real-time stats. So we're at 10, 18 watts. And if I turn this guy off, so we've got 52 watts there, turn this guy off. So this is going down to zero and this 10, 14 will drop. So now we're only putting out 962. So I know we're getting credit for this. Um, this isn't something I wanna have permanently hooked up to my house but I'd like to fix each one of these panels and then get the most out of I can, the most out that I can with this grid tie inverter. My question is, do I hook these up in series or parallel? Um, this is the first time project, I've never done it before. The existing solar system I have in my house, like I said, a 3.9 kilowatt system, sun power system, works great. Knocked out 65% of my electricity usage. Um, I want it all to look the same, so I'm gonna double that up on the house. This I'll probably fix. I don't know, put it on Craigslist or play with it. But uh, I've got it hooked up to an outlet I have in the corner over here. There's a little 110 in the corner. I ran an individual breaker. It's like a 15 or 20 amp breaker, specifically out to the backyard in hopes of putting a pull in. You can see that hasn't happened, but maybe one day, you know? Um, there isn't anything hooked up. The only thing I have hooked up was the fountain, which is disconnected right now. 
I didn't know how this was going to work out and I didn't want to take the possibility of frying anything on that particular circuit or breaker. Um, but like I said, I've got 10 of these panels, 120 watts each. They're not going to get maximum capacity. They're not going to overload this thing. I don't think they are. I mean, like I said, if they each get 80 watts, I don't see them doing it. Peak power, optimal conditions, yeah, but maybe I could hook up eight or whatever to keep it under a kilowatt. So how do I hook it up? Do I do a series or parallel or do you guys have any suggestions? If so, let me know. Um, I'll put the model number for the panels. I'll put the link where I got this from Amazon. Um, if you guys haven't used a kilowatt before, I'll turn this back on. These things are great. Uh, they'll tell you voltage, amps, watts, you can cycle through. It'll give you a lot of information about what you're using or what you're putting back in. <clears throat> I just turned the inverter back on right now. And uh, we're putting, I don't know, roughly 50 watts back in, but it's 119 volts, 120 volts, 0.6 amps, 46 watts, 60 hertz. Um, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Any suggestions? I know some people have said you could use this in an off-grid type system, um, but I'm curious if we could hook up the existing panels and, I don't know, maybe tie it into the grid. Do something with it. There's, I know there's a lot of people out there that play with this stuff. Just give me some advice on what you would do with it, and I'll post another video. And we'll go from there. Appreciate your help. Also, check out the TED 5000 if you don't. If you don't already have one, these things are pretty cool. You can put these little C clamps on your breakers, and it'll tell you what you know that circuit is using. Uh, that's it for now.